Hi, welcome to Luxury and Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Joanne, and every week I upload videos on luxury handbags and other lifestyle products to hopefully give you some really good information or if you're just curious about hearing more about these items. So if you're curious about these topics, you're welcome to join me and subscribe below. Before we get started today, I wanted to give a quick thank you to all of my subscribers who entered my very first giveaway. And congratulations to Deja in India for winning the Dior keyring holder and lip glow. It was so interesting to see everyone's responses to the question of what's your favorite kind of handbag and what's your favorite color for a handbag. I was really surprised to see that the overwhelming majority of people said their favorite type of handbag was a crossbody bag, and I definitely understand because I love my crossbody bags too. It was less surprising to see that most people favored a black or neutral colored handbag because they're so easy to match, but the third most popular color for a handbag was a pink handbag, which I definitely understand as well. I definitely plan on having more giveaways in the future, so thank you guys all again for entering this time and stay tuned for more. Now jumping back into today's video, today's topic is the one luxury handbag per season tag that the lovely Liz Herring created. So thank you Liz for creating this very interesting tag. And I was also tagged by the beautiful Tarina from Lux Handbag Lover. So for this tag, I had to think of one bag I would want to carry for each season. And I limited the selection to the bags that I currently own. And I gotta tell you, for some of the seasons, it was very hard to pick just one bag. So let's see what I came up with. The very first season we'll talk about is fall, since that's the one that we're kind of getting into now in the United States. And this one was actually really easy for me because every fall, I tend to take out this Louis Vuitton bag that I have. So this is my Louis Vuitton Galleria GM handbag. It's in the monogram canvas and mine is pretty old so the leather has patinaed pretty well. Every fall I do tend to take it out for at least a couple of weeks because it just reminds me of fall. I think um, I think it makes sense to a lot of people that the monogram with its warm brown tones is very autumn in that way. And I also think that this is a pretty like hefty bag. It's not like lightweight, even though it's canvas. Again, the tones are pretty um, dark. So that's why I think it's more of a fall bag versus like a spring summer bag. So moving on to winter, when I think of winter in the Northeast where I currently am, I think of heavy coats and really warm and cozy sweaters. So I chose my dark brown Bottega Veneta Intrachacho leather bag. So again, I chose this bag for its very warm tones. It just makes me think of like, a hot chocolate or you know cozy socks and I can slip on the bag pretty easily over like a big coat because I'm always wearing lots of sweaters and layers in the winter so it just kind of goes with you know the darker and heavier tones that we usually wear in the winter time. Now thinking of spring, I had a really hard time narrowing down what bag I would want to choose for spring just because like spring is my favorite season. I think, you know, it's a very fun time when you can really experiment. So it's hard to stick to just one bag, but I did settle on my Chanel Jumbo in this very light beige cream color. So this bag kind of reminds me of spring. I think first of all, because I got it in the Chanel like spring collection for this year. So it's obviously like made for spring. Um, the way the the way the color and the hardware was selected that was you know 
that was kind of Chanel's idea of spring as well. Um, so I bought it earlier this year, kind of almost during that spring time. So it reminds me, you know, that's the time of year that I bought this bag. And I also think, like I said, with um, spring being a really fun time, you can wear a lot of different outfits. Something neutral like this would be easier to pair with all the more colorful outfits I think I usually gravitate towards. You know, once I'm done with the darker tones of winter, I kind of go into an explosion of color once spring rolls around. So that's why I selected this particular bag. And now for the last season, summer, this was also a little bit of a hard choice for me as well, especially given my recently unboxed Hermes. Um, that bag, which is in a very neutral canvas, it looks very much like a summer vacationing bag. But I'm also hoping to use that bag um, more than just one season, so I kind of didn't want to silo that bag into only one season. And I actually settled on my Coach crossbody bag. And I decided on this bag for a lot of reasons. First of all, it is very colorful and bright, much like the mood when we think of summer. The fact that it is a coach bag and it's not like super expensive, I feel like I don't have to baby it, especially when I'm doing a lot of outdoor summer activities, like going to the beach or going to the park or, you know, just enjoying being outdoors. Um, there's obviously a much greater chance of getting things dirty, of sweating on it, especially in a humid summer. So I do enjoy the fact that, you know, this bag is made out of a pretty durable canvas. Um, it's not going to be scratched easily and I can easily clean any dirt that smudges on top of it. But the other reason why I picked this bag is because I think it's actually really useful for if I go on like a summer vacation. Obviously not this year, but I have taken this on multiple trips and it's like the perfect size where it can fit in a water bottle. So like the length of it, it can fit in a plastic water bottle or if I'm carrying a very lightweight small umbrella. So if I don't want to wear a hat, sometimes I will open an umbrella like a summer parasol. So that can fit inside of this as well, along with, of course, the essentials like a small wallet or sunblock. So even though it looks really small, it actually carries a ton. And I just thought that was an extra bonus for this bag in the summertime. So I hope you guys liked my picks for this tag. Um, if you want to see how I've styled a lot of these bags, you can follow me on Instagram. In the description box below, I'm going to tag a couple other gals and link some videos where I talk about some of these bags more in depth. So definitely check that out. Remember to subscribe below and let me know in the comments what bags would you pick for each of the seasons. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!